Do you think Shenzhen will become China's Silicon Valley, or is it already China's Silicon Valley? Uh, it is already China's Silicon Valley. In fact, it's even uh, you know deeper than that because uh, I'm talking to my friends in the Silicon Valley. If you have something designed in the lab, you know, can you find somewhere to manufacture it? Not easy in Silicon Valley. Whereas here in Shenzhen and also with the neighbor cities of Dongguan and Huizhou, it's much easier for you to find anything on the supply chain in a very short period of time at a very low cost. So it is the maker's paradise, as they call it, uh, in the States. This is where the real um, Silicon Valley of um, China is. And I think there is some lessons to be learned there. Um, one side, obviously, President Xi talked about deepening the reform, which is still ongoing in various areas. And one of the areas is the role of the government in terms of vis -vis the market. If you look at the success story of Shenzhen, most of the successful uh, enterprises in Shenzhen are privately owned. We have Huawei, we have CTE, we have BYD, uh, all these, you know, Tencent, of course. Um, they are all private companies. So what did the Shenzhen government do um, to help? So instead of picking the winners, what they do is they award the winners. They support people, try and error, they support the young, you know, startups. But once you're successful, they give you tax incentives so that you can grow. And I think that is a real model that could be learned by the other um, special zones because we, we have preferential policies all in different zones in China, but they're different kind of preferential policies. Tax incentives on one side, but also there are grants, there are investment. But Shenzhen somehow play in a, such a nice way integrated. They also have one of these uh, largest government-owned venture capital uh, uh, in, in, in Shenzhen as well that were very successful, not only investing in enterprises in Shenzhen, but also investing in other cities of China where they incubate those small tech startups and then move them to Shenzhen.